Yo, hello everyone! Integrating a database with your WordPress website can enhance its functionality and enable dynamic content management. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the process of connecting your WordPress website to a database. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First thing first, I will need you guys to simply go ahead and launch your dashboard. Next thing is, of course, I will make, sh make sure that you are on your website, which is which has all the data that you like and everything that you will have to save to be added to the another database that you have. And then go to here on plugins, click on it, and then click on add new. So then you'll have two options. Either search for the plugin that you are going to use in this tutorial by writing it here or just going to here and uploading the plugin. So there is two options as I said. Now you can simply for example search for another plugin if you didn't like my plugin later on. For example here you can write database and then just download whatever plugin it happens to be appearing. But for me guys I really like this plugin which is WP margin. So it is WP all in one and here we go it is WP one in one migration I will need you guys to click here to install it for now or else if you have it as a zip file for example all in one WordPress migration plugin click in here and I can download it simply through this and then I can simply just upload it here that's in case you had like the plugin uh, as a premium so the plugin has a premium version in case you had it you can simply do the steps to actually download and upload the premium version that you have now to make sure that it is activated go to here and in the plugins you will find this so all in one WP migration click on activate to activate it and then here it is now refresh your page and you will notice that it has been added to the menu of your dashboard. Now, this plugin is actually going to help you a lot by saving all your data, by importing it and exporting it. So all your content that you have created, it will be saved in one single click. Let's do that and see how it works. First, in case you'd like to export, click here. Then choose the here, Find the place if you'd like to uh, to do this. Find text replace with another text in the database if you'd like to. So you'll have this option as well, which is a really good feature. Else you can go to advanced option if you'd like to not have any uh, export, for example, as uh, spam comments. Do not export post rev revisions, media library, themes, uh, must use plugins, plugin database, or email domain. Of course, in our tutorial, we will need these two, which are database and email domain. So these two are the most important things. Do not shake them. Then click on export to choose what kind of platform we'd like to export this file into it. There are so many platforms as file, FTB, Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon, and much more. For example, you can go for Mega. Here you will have to get a premium version of Mega, so if you do have, you can go for it. You can go for OneDrive, you can go for like whatever thing you see, as you can see here. But yeah, they all have to be paid by ServMask. It will be costing you 99 per year. So once it is like exported in one of the platform, they will be saved in there. But in case you didn't have the premium version, or the subscription, you can simply click here on file and it will be exported as a file on your PC. So it will be saved on your PC and set on a cloud platform, which will be pretty good as well. As long as you have the safest version of your uh, website, there is no harm in it. It doesn't matter with whether it is on your PC or a cloud platform. Then, as you can see, click here to download the local host, which is my website, files. and it is pretty small, it is only 41 megabytes. Since it is pretty empty, as you can see, my posts, I have none, media none, pages none. So I have a couple pages, but they are not that many and they are empty as well. 
so that's why i had only 48 41 megabytes in your case it might be more it might be less it depends on the content that you have on your website so now let's go for the import for the import you click here and the same things just to the file for example in my case this one drag it here and then i will be able to actually import it it just you have to know that unless you had the premium version you will not be able to import more than 40 megabytes to your website so you can click here and get a limited amount of this migration tool which is gonna boost the amount of files that you can upload at once so instead of like dividing my file on two so i can like upload 20 and 21 later i will have to like when i get the premium version i will be able to actually import all the files in one click now for the backups the backup is pretty good as well it will save the backup here and you can download it so it's gonna be saved on your wordpress hosting so if you have your wordpress hosting on wordpress it will be saved in here so as you can see for me i have them both uh, in my backup section I can click here to download them or I can click here like this is three weeks ago I can download it still or restore it to my website instead of uploading it etc it will be saved here I can just click on restore and it will be restored so basically guys playing with data using data importing and exporting data is pretty easy using this only one plugin it is very helpful guys that's why i was talking to you in the beginning that if you'd like to use any other plugins you can do that but this one is pretty much insane you can even find some kind of uh, free version of it you can just look for it on the google youtube you might find it and if i could find anything like the free version of it i will put the link in the description but otherwise this is pretty insane and now once you want to actually do something with the data import it to somewhere else as i said just click on import or export i mean just export the data that you like to edit it or take it to another place and then download it on your pc as a file as i showed you in the beginning go to your cpanel that you have on your database go there go to your files and import it in your new database and your website files shall be copied from here to there simply just using one free version of this plugin which is pretty insane as i said the export is unlimited the only thing that is limited is the import so make sure you're not importing that much of big file size and yeah guys that was it with today's video that's how you can do a lot of things using the database that you have on your wordpress website if you still have any questions problems or like fears about this one plugin make sure to let me know in the in the comment section i will make sure to answer all of your comments and yeah guys that was it thanks for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial